You are an insanely creative and lovely artist, aren't you? But you're not as good as me. Let's just face the facts. Anyhow, let's get back to this video. We're going to be covering the best drawing tablets with screens in 2021 and 2022. It's a multi-generational video. Oh yeah. My promise for you is I put thousands of hours of research. Thousands. With no lies. Anyhow, let's just act like I was truthful there. And then let's just go on with the thesis. So basically, if you watch this video till the end, you're gonna be happy. You're gonna find the drawing tablet with a screen that you're looking for. And you're gonna be a happy artist. Just like me. Let's not waste any more of your precious time and let's deep dive into this video right here. Sorry, I forgot to mention one more thing. All the products, links, and prices will be mentioned in the description below. <laughs> Number 5. If you're looking for the cheapest small drawing tablet out there, the Huion Canvas Pro 12 is here to save you. When it comes to affordability, reliance, and high quality standards, Huion is the company to go for. Huion, in my opinion, are the kings of the budget price range, and if a 12-inch screen drawing tablet is what you are looking for, then this won't disappoint. So this is why the Huion Canvas Pro 12 is the winner in the low-budget category. Despite its low price compared to the competition, it has a battery-free stylus. It has 8192 pressure sensitivity levels, 5080 LPI resolution, a 266 PPS report rate, and a plus-minus 60 degrees pen tilt. When it comes to screens, it won't be as vibrant and bright as the higher end options, but this does have really good performance at its comparative price. It has a 120% sRGB color coverage, considered great for professional art, and great color accuracy. Please note though, although it has good numbers like 8192 pressure sensitivity levels, this is used as a marketing stunt if you're looking for professional results you are better off going for the higher end options. But for people getting into digital art and wanting a semi-professional great drawing tablet, this one won't disappoint. More that I like about this digital art screen is that it has extra programmable buttons for selecting tools, brushes, and my favorite addition is the touch slider, allowing you to zoom in and out of your canvas, or even set opacity levels or brush sizes, and much more. It also comes with an adjustable stand, so that's another expense out the way. It comes with a pen and many replacement nibs, and it's compatible with Mac, Windows, or Chromebooks. Now, one word of warning though, this is a drawing tablet and not a standalone digital tablet that doesn't need anything else. Number four. For those looking for a more professional, higher quality, small sized digital art tablet with a screen, the XP Pen Artist 13.3 Pro is definitely the way to go. With XP Pen, we take a little more cost, add it to a bump in quality, size, and overall features. Just like the previous option, it features an IPS screen allowing for more accurate color reproduction and good viewing angles. The cool thing is it has sRGB coverage at 123% and even a whopping 88% NTSC coverage and an impressive Adobe RGB of 92. These are very good numbers for art and any creative work. But what I like more about this drawing tablet is better build quality, durability, and most importantly, extra functionality. It has eight customizable buttons, as well as a wheel, which I find perfect for fine tuning brush size, opacity, or when you're trying to zoom in and out of the canvas, trying to get to the perfect spot. For me, a wheel is much better for fine tuning adjustments. And I much prefer the wheel option than the touch slider by miles. It also features a battery-free stylus, 8192 levels of pen pressure sensitivity, plus minus 60 degree pen tilt, and 200 reports per second, giving you a responsive feel and a pen on paper-like feel. It also includes a perfect stand with it, so you can adjust the angle of your drawing tablet, helping your wrist and helping with productivity. Overall, this is my favorite professional option. If you're looking for a small portable drawing tablet with a screen with near professional results, and another great fact is XP Pen have great customer support. Their software is better than the Huion software, allowing for higher compatibility and less known driver problems. Number three, the Wacom Cintiq 16 or 22. 
Now for those looking for the highest and professional drawing screen out there, there are higher ones than this one, but I don't recommend you go much higher than this because this will give you all of what you need. And I recommend you just settle here, because if you go for the higher options from Wacom, you don't get too much for the extra price. If you're looking for the most reliable professional drawing tablet with a screen out there, then Wacom are definitely the way to go. The Cintiq 16 and 22 have long been Wacom's best products suiting professional artists and creative digital art. Animators, artists, and graphical designers have always favored Wacom products above anything else for professional work. Wacom is like Apple regarding to its high quality, but at the same time, it's also way overpriced compared to the competition out there. This is the tablet I recommend for any serious artist who want the best results. The Cintiq 16 and 22 are more than enough and you shouldn't go for the Cintiq Pro. Paired with the Wacom Pro Pen 2, you are going to have a blissful, comfortable, battery-free stylus giving you the most natural pen on paper experience. It has a very durable build along with a great screen, a Full HD, 90% Adobe RGB and 72% NTSC. It has 8192 pressures and stiffty levels, a battery-free stylus and plus minus 60 degree pen tilt support. However, a loss with the Wacom Cintiq, for those that like that, is you don't get any buttons or extra functionalities, it's just a simple drawing tablet with a screen. So for those wanting the most reliable experience and quality, go for Wacom. For those wanting the best bang for your buck, do not go for Wacom. If you want to save your money and you want the best product for your money, there are other companies out there that will provide the same things the Wacom tablet provides at a lower expense and they're also pretty high quality. Number 2. The XP Pen Artist 22R This is gonna be the biggest professional drawing tablet with a screen and it's my go-to pick for anyone wanting the best bang for your buck, big drawing tablet. It's half the price of the Wacom Cintiq 22 and it gives you just as well results if not even better. It managed to strike the best features, value and bang for your buck while maintaining very high quality standards. So if you want a reliable 22 inch screen with tons of extra functionalities, you can stop looking any further and get the XP Pen Artist 22R. Other than the lovely price, my favorite features on this digital art screen are you get a perfect screen with above 120 sRGB coverage, above 90% Adobe RGB and 88% NTSC. So this drawing tablet humiliates the Wacom despite its better affordability and also sustains the good reliability that XP Pen are well known for. You also get a whopping 16 programmable buttons with two slider wheels, which I love. You can set these to zoom in, change brush size and anything you want and they are better for fine tuning than any touch sliders, so these wheels are really convenient. And having all this extra functionality built into the tablet means you won't have to keep going to your mouse and keyboard for shortcuts, but all your shortcuts to your brushes to anything you want can be saved onto your tablet or drawing screen, so you won't be needing to keep switching between using your drawing tablet and then using your keyboard and then going back to your drawing tablet. No, this will have everything you want built into the drawing tablet, so that will provide for a much more fluid, smooth experience and a faster experience for those artists trying to be productive and trying to stay in the flow. As for the stylus pen included, everyone loves it. It's a great well-known drawing tablet with a great stylus. So it's gonna give you a very good pen on paper like experience. Number one, the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro by Apple is by far the most sophisticated standalone device out there for any artist, animator, graphical designer, photo editor, and much more. You can even edit videos on an iPad Pro. And the best thing with it, Apple has insane reliability, quality, and customer support, so they are known to not fail you no matter what, and you get a very good warranty, great support, and the iPad Pro is the best performing tablet out there for its price, and has the best stylus pen-like experience compared to anything out there. It is great for professional results and professional art. The screen is also insanely accurate and vibrant, and you get a very long battery life. Very speedy processor, and most importantly, it costs just as much as some of these drawing tablets I mentioned earlier. Of course, professionals working on big projects may need the extra performance benefits that come with a computer if they're working on really large products with lots of layers and very high PPI resolution. And for those who want a very big drawing tablet or drawing screen for the fine details, then of course they will need a computer paired with a very large 22 inch screen that like we've been seeing before. But 
for most professional artists, the iPad Pro is going to be the most convenient, great option out there. And here are some extra pros that come with this iPad Pro. You get a beautiful design, 10 hours of battery life, many drawing graphic design creative apps, a great fast processor, you get an Apple stylus which is very comfortable and accurate and responsive, you get a bright vibrant display. I won't be mentioning any extra details about the iPad Pro, just know it's a great device with all the features you're looking for as an artist or a digital creator. That's a wrap up for the best drawing tablets with screens for artists. Make sure to like and make sure to subscribe. Unless of course you want to hit that dislike button. But be careful if you hit that dislike button, you're gonna be haunted by ghosts for your whole life. So be aware of the ghosts, and if you're looking for a drawing tablet that is more affordable, you can check this video here for the best cheap drawing tablets in 2021. And if you're looking for a drawing tablet that doesn't need to be attached to a computer, make sure to check this video right here for the best laptops for artists in 2021. Now peace, have a good day, goodbye.